How to create motivational YouTube Shorts videos with AI. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you are looking to create AI generated videos for YouTube Shorts for any niche, but particularly the motivational niche, I will be showing you guys exactly how you can do that. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need for any YouTube Short video is a script. So I already have prepared a script over here. It's very essential that you have your script ready because this script is what you're going to be using to create the visual as well as the audio aspect. So this is my script that I've prepared. Now, one thing to keep in mind whenever you are generating a script for these types of videos is that make sure your script is broken down into each individual sentence and you will create the video according or the AI will create the video according to each individual sentence. From each sentence, it will derive one scene. So the number of sentences you have will be the number of scenes that you have. Now, if you want to do something that is tried and tested or proven, you can simply go on to YouTube and you can search for a motivational video and you can take a look at the motivational videos that have been uploaded in YouTube Shorts. This will just give you a better idea of what is currently trending or what kind of videos people are viewing. You guys will get a good idea of what should be the main type of niche, what type of audio or video element that you want. Now, what I'm going to do once I have my script ready is simply go on to Pictory AI and there is a link in the description box down below to get started with Pictory AI, so make sure to check that out. And then from there, you want to go into script to video. You also have other options such as article to video and other options like edit video using text or visuals to video. Now I'm going to proceed with the basic script to video and I'm just going to go into my notes and I'm going to copy my script and I'm just going to paste it over here. You guys can see this is a pretty long sentence so I want to remove a couple of sentences as well like this and after that once i have my sentences ready now i'm going to move this down like so like this so once i have my script ready and i've broken down the lines to the number of scenes that i want or you know the different scenes that i want all you have to do is click on proceed. Once you click on proceed, you will be led to the template library. This library allows you to see all of the different templates and font styles that they have available. Depending on your niche, you want to choose a different font. A great way to choose a font is to take a look at the pre-existing ones that are currently present in the particular niche. So I can see a lot of people are using the yellow highlight method in these types of videos. So I also want to do the same thing with pictures and I'm going to take a kind of simple font like this. So the subtitle yellow one, you can choose any kind of font style. I think we have the subtitle highlight one. I think I'm going to go with this. Now, after that, you have to choose your aspect ratio. We're doing this for YouTube short. So I'm going to go with a nine by 16. If you want to create a full screen video, a full screen motivational video, go with 16 by nine. You can also choose to later on change the aspect ratio as well and create a full screen video. Now, once you have chosen your template, the Pictory AI is going to actually start matching the visual elements to the text or script that you entered, and it's going to find the elements th that fit the best with the audio with the text elements that you added. So right now it's doing that matching and it's creating my storyboard or my scenes or my video clips that I want to use. Now, after your video clips are added, you will see this storyboard on the bottom of your screen and you will also get a estimated video duration on the top right. Usually this is cut down by 10 seconds because there is a gap that usually the AI has, which you will later on reduce and I will show you guys exactly how to do that. Now, the first step is to take a look at the scenes that you have. So these are the scenes that I have like this and it has the yellow highlight of as well. However, some scenes that I don't like are also added over here. So let's say I have this one as well. Let's say I want to delete it. You can delete it as well. Now, let's say I don't like the edit that I made. I don't want to delete it. I can click on previous because this has a auto save. Pictory lets you auto save things. It can just loop you back to the last previous saved version and you can proceed from there as well. I'm going to go with the same type because I like that. Now, with these scenes, some of the visual elements might not be as great as you might want them. So let's say this scene over here, I don't like this scene 
because it's really not that motivational. So what I want to do is simply choose the scene that I want to edit and then I want to go into visuals on the left side of my screen and I'm just going to search for man walking because I think that could look pretty interesting over here like this and I can choose to add this instead and you can also choose you know different types of visuals for all of your little sections so this is also a bit cringy or it just doesn't fit the aesthetic that I'm going for boldly go in the direction of your dreams so I'm going to choose a different one for this as well like this one and then I have my scene two where I might want to add something like this or this maybe so it's like cohesive with my entire short because I don't want you know multiple different video clips that look a bit different now I'm going to search for motivation and visuals I'm going to add this instead and now I have final one like this like so so now that I have added the visuals as I like let's say I want to break down some of my text like for example in scene six this text can be a little long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break this text down while keeping the same visual element in the background to do this simply click on story and then click on the scene that you want to separate from here i'm just going to move my cursor to where i want to separate my text and click on split scene now i will have the same background for both of these scenes however the background however the text will be altered so the text will be distributed in two separate sections. Now the next thing you want to do is start adding your audio. Your audio can be added in the form of a AI generated voiceover. You can also do your own voiceovers and upload them over here or you can even do a voiceover using another AI tool such as Murph AI. So Murph AI also allows you to create voiceovers and you don't have to record your own voice. It is simple, easy and effective to use as well. So with Murph AI you can can easily generate the audio or the voiceover if you don't like any of the voices provided in Pictory. Pictory has multiple different voices available as well. Let's take a look at this one. Welcome to Pictory. So this is a pretty nice voice that I often like to use. However, if you don't like any of the voices over here, or we can go into Morph AI. Simply click on create project over here. You're going to create audio, blank, create project, and you're just going to copy and paste your script, your story or script directly from here. So I'm just going to go into Murph AI just like that and you can choose a plan on Murph AI or you can even go with the free version and you can just click on your studio over here, create the free project and you get like around two hours of free Murph AI audio generation where you can generate your own audio like this. Click on paste and I will click on don't split because I've already spaced, split up my sections or you can split by sentences. So I'm just going to add this and just like that, this is our script that we used and I can click on export over here on the top right. And that is how you can generate the audio or voiceover with Murph AI. Now going back to Pictory, once you have set the audio and you have set the voiceover as well as your background music. I'm using the one with Pictory that was provided with Pictory. Now, after that, you have background music. You have a bunch of different tracks available like these. So you guys can see they have a bunch of different tracks available. You can preview them and choose the one that befits your video. So I'm going to choose this one and simply click on apply. Now, once you have your voiceover and background music chosen, you can click on volume over here and choose the sound or the volume of your background music. I like to keep my background music at around 6 to 8%. And then the voiceover sound, I'm going to select my voiceover. And now the voiceover sound, I want to keep at 50 which is usually the optimum now after you have chosen your music you can also choose to add any more embellishments in the element section so you can use these emojis gifs or stickers these are usually in meme formatted content for motivational content you really don't need any stickers or gifs added in your video once you have selected all of these options make sure you have added the visual zoom and pen option from the bottom right settings because when you're creating youtube shorts the video is zoomed in if you have this turned off then some of your videos might be zoomed out and that does not provide a really great look and now after you are ready with all of the elements you can click on preview on your top right over here and preview the video that you have just created so let's take a look at the motivational youtube short video that we just created 
Boldly go in the direction of your dreams. Stand tall and show the world what you are made of. If the world beats you down, find a reason to get back. Try, try, try and try again. Your mind ideas are success, not failure. Following your dreams can be both terrifying and tempting. She is facing fear. Fear of failure holds most people back. You are not most people. Go for your dreams. It is your turn. Now, I don't really like the audio on this one. I don't think it fits the visual aspect. I think a more masculinized voice would look, uh, would sound a lot better. So I'm gonna go back in audio. I can go back into voiceover and I can even filter out male voices from here just by clicking on the male section. And there are a bunch of different male voices. Welcome to Pictory. Welcome to Pictory. Welcome to Pictory. Welcome to Pictory. It has been. So I'm gonna use this one instead. And once I have chosen my new audio, I am just gonna click on preview over here to see what the new audio sounds like. This is really great because you can preview multiple times to make sure that the video befits your standards and how you want your videos to look like. Because once you get down to it, once you have your template, the audios, all of that selected, making a bunch of these videos all at once becomes super easy once you have a basic template in mind only go in the direction of your dreams stand tall and show the world what you are made of when the world beats you down find a reason to get back up again try 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 and try so i really like this now one thing to keep in mind is that the music seems a little too low so i'm going to turn up the music to around 10 percent instead of eight and then i can go back into my voiceover settings just taking a look at the overall settings that i have applied i can see that i have my voiceover turned on my loop video my background music as well now one thing you can do is find voices in a uh, faster speed so if you want to increase the speed of the voice to make the person that's speaking a bit faster because these types of videos work better when someone is speaking faster depending on the niche you have you can make it faster as well and then you can click on preview only go in the direction of your dreams. Stand tall and show the world what you are made of. When the world beats you down, find a reason to get... So now I really like this. And once you are satisfied with your preview, you can just click on download over here. Click on video. And you will have your download in 720p if you are not upgraded on the Pictory platform. I have a link in the description box down below for you guys to get a free trial as well. So check that link out if you want a free trial. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.